Here we've got um, our bladder and our colon in transverse, and we can see this is gas and feces um, causing an acoustic shadow. Um, and it's it's although it's gas, it's not very hyperechoic in this area. Over here, we've got a foreign body. So it's a corn on the cob. Um, you might think that that's quite similar to tissue, but actually quite different. And we're getting this very, very high perechoic line um, with acoustic, well, there is some acoustic shadow, but there's also some, some other artifacts going on here. What I often find as well with foreign bodies in the stomach, like this corn on the cob was, that we end up with a lot of fluid as well. And that can often highlight the foreign body also. So particularly if we've got an animal that's vomiting a lot um, uh, and we're worried about foreign body, definitely look at that stomach as thoroughly as we can. Um, so making sure we have scanned all the way up towards the fundus under the ribs and if we can fanning all the way down towards pylorus and if we have the skills to follow from the duodenum cranially to the pyloroduodenal junction to check that area as well. Um, so checking the stomach as thoroughly as possible, but we'll usually get might get a clue in um, that it's quite fluid filled. Often find as well if it, if there is lots of fluid, it's going to fall to well, it'll either float or fall to the dependent side, depending on what the foreign body is. Um, so just being aware of does this thing that I think is a foreign body um, react by moving around in this fluid as well. So particularly with this corner of the cob, it was, it was, um, it moved around the stomach quite a lot. So when, when we moved uh, the animal from right lateral recumbency, where we started into left lateral recumbency, it, it fell um, to that side. So um, that can be a big clue as well. So, but um, you can see this, this foreign body looks fairly different to gas. The other thing with it is that it's quite um, abnormally straight. So we wouldn't normally expect to see that. Uh, we would normally expect to see rounded ob objects, but not perfectly round or perfectly straight. So um, that can be a clue if it's a synthetic um, object.